It was an incredibly interesting process for me to, to join this pro uh, project because, um, you know, the, the, the film, among so many other things, obviously, is, is about the process of writing music, the process of creating music, the process of practicing music, rehearsing, communicating music to others and, you know, making music become alive, you know, and it's, it's not about the... It was never about the, the final, you know, product of a, you know, a, a piece of music or, or, a, or concert or anything that was kind of finished and, and finalized, but it was this, like, really um, deep dive into what it means to create it and rehearse it, you know, and for me that was just so fascinating because that's obviously something that I've dedicated my life to, you know, and it's, and it's a really rare opportunity to get to bring that to a, you know, to a screen, and it's also something that's very complicated to bring to a screen because so much of that process, especially when you're writing, is very intrinsic, you know. So a lot of the, a lot of the process of how you write is 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 a hearing internally, you know, which is something that's not a voice and it's not an instrument because it's it's this this entity that lives inside you that you have to then translate, you know. And I think, you know, have if we had would have like underscored that we would have missed the magic of of of, of that delicateness of, of of creating you know before it becomes a thing you know and i think that to me was so was the most interesting part you know because how, how the hell do you do that you know <laughs> her inner tempo her her inner like you know alignment and misalignment are, are so much of what what informs her character and her her kind of you know frustrations and, and 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 passions and you know all of this I think all of this for me like you know so much of it stemmed from the music so it was really important to 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 kind of understand what her music was you know that the music that she wanted to be writing as a composer and then the music that she's ends up kind of on the big stage with was something totally different so I didn't really draw from Mahler and that and that uh, whole whole situation but but we felt like her her aspirations were were leaning more towards wanting to create something like you know more experimental and more open and something like less rigid but she finds herself in this kind of rigid position so we basically tempo mapped the whole film Todd and I so I've been working on this for about one and a half years so we tempo mapped like all the characters like how they walk and how they you know think and how they how they are like there's a whole kind of tempo map to that and there's like a set bpm to their tempo you know and then i wrote the music to accompany that those tempo differences like you know the the inner tempo of these characters and that's music that we actually never hear in the film but we feel it through the characters like we feel it through their tempo that we see on screen so the music was very informative without us ever hearing it because it's the kind of that's the intrinsic part that we you know that's how we translate it you know feeling the inner music of these characters without actually hearing it and then I wrote the music of course that she is writing in the film as, as well and, and um, so I worked with Kate uh, um, on just kind of trying to yeah form her her, her composition character you know and the music that she's writing and, and in the film that music never gets actually finished so we never hear that finished music in the film but that's coming out on a, um, on a record oh, on Deutsche right. Grammophon, which is going to exist in our <laughs> parallel universe of, of reality. <laughs>